So Destiny 2 Beyond Light is finally here. About time, huh? Feels like it took an eternity. Well, it's certainly been a long wait. But anyway, uh, so I'd like to share my thoughts on the Beyond Light launch, which has basically been, I mean, how can I describe it? Uh, terrible, awful, hilarious, frustrating, stressful. Yep, all of those things. I'll also, in this video, explain how to fix the PC crashes that a lot of players are experiencing when loading into missions and other activities and destinations. I'll put a timestamp right here so you can just jump to that part of the video to learn how to apply the fix to all these crashes you're experiencing. Before we get to that, let's talk about the launch. So basically on Monday, we had the live event that saw the Traveler wake up, heal itself, and in a way, gear up to go against the darkness, even though the darkness still managed to destroy a bunch of planets, and for whatever reason, the Traveler was a few seconds too late to be able to stop that from happening. But anyway, it was a live event that started around midnight here in the UK and allowed players to jump into the last city to catch the event from there instead. It was a really cool event in my opinion, but there were quite a few problems. First of all, the servers themselves just couldn't handle the sheer amount of players trying to connect, which of course resulted in massive queue times. And even if you did manage to log in, you more than likely would get booted and disconnected whilst waiting around for the event. The other problem was how long it took. The actual event itself didn't occur until about 3 a.m., which meant a three hour wait, which is basically pretty ridiculous if you ask me. If you can get the event to be scheduled, why would it take that long to make it happen? Lots of people, unfortunately, were unable to catch it here in Europe because it was the middle of the night. I don't think that's very fair on the European player base. I myself waited and I watched the event live with Aztec Cross because I couldn't actually log in because of the servers being overloaded and at capacity. I did manage to access the last city mission, but as I was waiting around, I got booted and I was never able to go back into it. So in any case, this leads leads onto the Beyond Light launch, which was actually even worse. At 5 p.m. UK time, the servers went live and hundreds of thousands of players worldwide tried to log in. It resulted in no one logging in, basically. In fact, as far as I'm aware, no one was able to get into the game for nearly an hour after the servers were live. Once players started getting into the game, there was then a huge amount of errors, disconnections, crashes. That went on for quite some time. And as much as I understand that the servers just couldn't handle the sheer volume of players trying to get into the game, it doesn't take away the fact that Bungie should know better by now. The day before launch, this very same thing happened. In fact, it occurs each and every time there's a new expansion launch, which leads me to ask the question, do Bungie not learn? And will they ever learn? Because the truth is, if this is something that keeps happening, then surely there are certain methods that can mitigate server overloads, right? Maybe a gradual launch time for each region of the world. Perhaps starting with the less dense parts, like Australia and New Zealand. And maybe each hour or half an hour, you open up the servers for a different region and you build up to the USA servers, as that's of course where the largest player base is located, I believe. So then it becomes a steady and gradual launch. Surely that's a better way to do it, allowing the servers some room to breathe whilst Bungie stress test the servers as more and more players log in. But anyway, once I managed to log in, new problems arose. There was a lot of lag and stutter. The menus seemed very buggy. There were huge frame rate drops and constant errors and being kicked to orbit. But the biggest issue I had was that each time I tried to load into an area or mission or activity, my PC would crash. This happened quite a number of times. I went on Twitter and I discovered a massive number of other players that were having the same issues. So I decided I should reinstall Destiny. It took about three hours to re-download and install the game. During that time, I researched and communicated with others via Twitter to figure out what could be happening and discovered that the shader cache could be at fault and should be refreshed. So this is what what I did. After the game finished downloading and installing, the first thing I did was go into the NVIDIA control panel and under manage 3D settings, I looked for the shader cache and turned it off. I then rebooted the PC. Then I reinstalled
installed the most recent Nvidia drivers, but I chose custom installation and I ticked the box that says perform a clean installation. And then finally, I performed a disk cleanup for the Windows operating system drive, which meant the DirectX shader cache was deleted and refreshed. I then turned the Nvidia shader cache back on, rebooted the PC, loaded back into Destiny, and I'm happy to report the game started straight away. It was as smooth as butter with a considerable higher level of responsiveness too. Now this was about three in the morning here in the UK by that point, which meant the servers had a lot less players, but I unfortunately didn't get to play much because it was so late. But at least I learned about what can make games stutter and crash. All in all, the launch was pretty dreadful and surely I hope Bungie learn from this once and for all. As for Beyond Light itself, it looks rather nice, it's pretty awesome so far, but it's way too early for me to say anything more than that with regards to the expansion itself. There'll be more on that in the near future. I hope this helps any of you that may have had these crash issues. Any questions, pop them in the comments and I'll catch you all very soon. Goodbye.